Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see the equivalent of last dot concept in R. So we'll try to subset the last record within a group as for that example. So let's say we have this data for 19 students within a class and there are males and females in the class and we want to identify the student with the highest height in both males and females. So we are looking for a data set which should look something like this. So wherein we have identified the student with the highest height in both males and females. So how do we do this in SAS? So we first need to ensure that the records are sorted based on the requirement. So all the records of females should appear together and within the females. So we want the, the records to uh, appear in a manner that the record with the highest height appears at the end in that group of records. Similarly, within the males, the record with the highest height appear at the end. For that, we can make use of proc sort and then we need to specify the variables sex and height on the by statement. So, and then we next need to make use of data step to uh, create this last dot concept. So for that we need to specify the names of the variables on the by statement. Whenever we specify a variable on the by statement it creates two temporary variables. One is first dot variable and the second one is last dot variable. So here as we have used two variables on the by statement two temporary variables get created for each of these two variables. That is for sex it would be first dot sex and the last dot six and for height it would be first dot height and last dot height but we need to identify the record uh, last record within each sex value we need only the last dot sex variable so we are making use of the subsetting if statement to subset the record the last record within each uh, sex value so say for example here we have two unique values one is f and the second one is m the value for last dot sex would be one on the last record within each unique value of uh, sex variable here so for the value would be set to one on the last record of female and also on the last record of male so we are making use of that concept and we made sure that we will be only be able to identify the last record using last record so we fetched we sorted the records in such a way that the record with the highest height is appearing on the last record and then we are subsetting that record so we will now see how to replicate this concept in our programming so here we are we have the code here so we we are making use of the class data set and then passing it on to the arrange function so which is used for sorting the observation so we have specified that sex and height have to be uh, used for sorting the records and then we are passing the resulting sorted data set to group by function so which creates uh, groups for like female and male and then we are making use of the slice function here so slice function is used for subsetting a specific record based on the record position so and then within the slice function we are making use of the n function so the n function actually returns the number of records within a group when we have grouped the records so here when we have grouped the records based on the value of sex so it creates a counter or uh, it creates it gives us the total number of records with the female and the total number of records in the male for each of these two groups so when we specify n of the value is so for females we have nine records so the value for female group would become nine and in males we have a uh, ten records here so the value would become ten so we are internally or inherently specifying that slice the record of nine and for like for female and the slice the record for ten which is uh, tenth record of male so that way we are subsetting the last record the n would return 9 for female and 10 for male so we are subsetting the ninth record of female and 10th record of male so whenever we specify n that will be equivalent to the last record or the number of records in that group so we will get the same result here so the last record of female and the last record of male get subsetted and then we are making use of the select function to keep only the required variables here so we'll now move on to the demo so let's have our sas and our session side by side so we'll try to run 
the input data so we'll see the demo of sas first so let us try to run or create this input data set and let's open the data set and here if we see the records are sorted based on the values present in the name variable and then we are making use of proc sort to order the records in such a way that within males and females the record of the student with the highest height comes at the end in that group so i have oh, let's close this so let us sort this data set so i'm pressing f3 on my keyboard to run the specific selected piece of code here so i have sorted the records now what we have done here is we have sorted or brought all the records of females and males together and within that group we have may we have made sure that the record with the highest height is appearing on the last record in that group similarly for males so in the next step we are making use of that uh, temporary variable first dot six and last dot six so to be specific we are making use of last dot six concept to select only the last record in that male and females so let us take a look at the output data set that is created so here we now have the last record within male and female on that record we have the uh, that record corresponds to the student with the highest height. So this is how we can uh, select a last record within a group and based on our requirement. Now let us see how we can replicate this in R. So let us try to run this piece of code which creates our class data set. We have 19 observations and all the records are sorted based on the values present in name variable. So now let us try to replicate this concept here so here we are making use of class and create so basically we are trying to create a data set named highest height by using class data set and then passing it on to the arrange function to sort the observations and then creating the groups using group by function and then subsetting the records using slice function and then select function or to subset or keep only the required variables so let us try to run I am selecting only this piece of code and then trying to run it so which will now run only execute till the arrange function so if we take a look at the highest height data set now so what is happening is so it was replicating this concept of proc sort so we have brought together the records of females and males together and then within that females and males so we are we have made sure that the record with the highest height value is appearing at the end so similarly the record with the highest height uh, is present on the last as the last record within males and then we are creating groups so let us take a look at the height uh, highest height data set now if we here if we see the variables are listed and the types and individual values will also appear here if we see but what when I try to run this piece of code along with group by what happens is internally it creates that grouping logic and create some temporary processing at the back end so but we are not bothered much about that so but I just wanted to show you that some changes happen in the data set when we run the group by so it is actually creating the groups now and then we are making use of slice function in the next step to subset the record which is uh, we are specifying here it as n function so as we have discussed earlier so what n function does is it counts the number of records in each of the groups and creates uh, that value so for f we have nine records so what happens is for uh, f it the number would become nine and for males the number would become 10 so which means the ninth record in the females would be subsetted and then the tenth record in the males would be subsetted so let us try to run the code till this step and then see so now if we see the highest uh, height data set we only have two observations so here if we open the data set we only see those two records and from this we were interested in keeping only a few variables for that we are making use of select function so and specifying the names of the required variables so let us run this entire piece of code and then see the final data set we only have now the required records and required variables so just to show you how this n function works i'll try to temporarily create that as a variable so I'll create 
a variable called total regs and assign the value from the n function for this one so i'll try to run the code till this step so if i open this one if you see now the total regs has the value of the number of records in females and number of records in males so for males it is 10 records so what are we doing here in the next step so we were making use of this 9 value and 10 value and so we were asking so to subset the ninth record within females and 10th record within males so each of those records gets so the key thing is to make use of n function within slice function to subset the last record within each group